at the Asclepius Clinic Barmbig, helping you and your newborn get off to a good start in your newborn's life is a mission the obstetrics and neonatology departments share. It is important to us that your child's birth proceeds naturally, gently and safely. In addition to doctor-assisted births, we also offer the alternative of a midwife delivery room. This option provides you with the assistance of only experienced midwives, making the birth experience much like a home birth. In the event of an emergency, a medical specialist can be with you and your baby in no time. It goes without saying that we apply the highest standards of medical safety and adhere to the most up-to-date practices. As a perinatal centre offering the highest level of care, we are prepared for every eventuality, however unlikely. All of us together spare no effort to ensure that the families in our care enjoy the comfort and peace of mind that the greatest possible level of safety affords. We work to make you stronger and better able to embark on this special stage of life with joy and complete confidence. To be certain that your child is healthy, we perform a series of preventive medical exams. After about 48 hours, we perform the U2 examination. It is this second examination in the life of your newborn that we wish to show you now. This film is not a substitute for a consultation with a doctor. If you have questions, please write them down. The U2 examination includes a metabolic test. Once your baby is at least 36 hours old, we take a few drops of blood as a sample. This procedure is no more painful than a tiny pinprick. This test helps us to detect rare disorders. In most cases, early treatment can prevent the consequences of such disorders. If anything is unusual about the findings, we will notify you immediately. If you don't hear from us, then everything is fine. Is there a history of thyroid disease in your family? If so, please make a note of it and tell your doctor. The physical examination of your baby usually proceeds from head to toe. What does the shape of the skull look like? How big is the fontanella? This gap in the skull bones is a sort of crumple zone that makes it easier for your baby's head to pass through the birth canal. Once the baby is born, it ensures that the baby's brain has enough room to grow. Even the oral cavity is palpated, as much as this may not be to everyone's taste. We take a deep look into the child's eyes. Is the retina visible behind the lens? The U2 also includes a hearing test. Usually, we perform this test while your child is sleeping. We can detect hearing disorders early with the use of sound waves. Because the sound waves in this test lie within the same frequency range as the human voice, your child will not find them unpleasant. This test is important because poor hearing can impair a child's healthy development. Do you have any further questions? If so, write them down. Now, it is the heart and lungs turn. What does the heartbeat sound like? Is there a good strong pulse as the blood flows through the veins? To rule out heart disorders with greater certainty, we test the oxygen content of the blood. If it is too low, this could be a sign of a heart defect. In this case, we examine the heart more closely. Everything is fine with this baby. Is there a history of congenital heart defects in your family? Make a written note of it so that you can tell your doctor. Are the liver, spleen and kidneys okay? We palpate the internal organs to see whether they are of normal size. Even the navel is checked. Is it drying well? The U2 examination also includes examination of the external reproductive organs. The next step is to check whether your baby's hips are okay. If the fold runs symmetrically, that is a good sign. If we have the impression that a hip is not exactly as it should be, we take a closer look with an ultrasound scan. The regular checkup, however, takes place during the next examination, the U3, which your paediatrician will perform when your baby is four to six weeks old. If you are aware of a history of congenital hip problems in your family, please tell your doctor. Next, we take a look at the back. Can we feel anything unusual in the bones? This could indicate a hidden malformation of the spine, but don't worry. 
this is very rare. Last, we test the baby's reflexes. These are important because coordinated movements will develop from these involuntary actions later on. But right now, they are helping the baby become accustomed to its new world. This is called Gallant's reflex. The stepping reflex is an automatic movement. It has nothing to do with the walking that will begin at a later stage of development. The moro, or embrace reflex, is a vestige of a period when babies had to dig their claws into their mother's fur to keep them from falling off. If your baby kicks with its legs and its feet, react with being touched, then everything is fine. As the U2 examination draws to a close, it brings us to vitamin K, which helps in the formation of blood clotting factors, thereby preventing internal bleeding. Now is your opportunity to get off your chest those questions you have been most eager to ask. The doctor will give you some vitamin D and fluoride for your baby's strong bones and teeth. And at the very end, you will be given your child's preventive care booklet. Finally, you will also learn the safest way for your baby to sleep at home. We discharge you when we are confident that you and your child are both doing well. You can learn more about safe baby sleep at www.schlaf-gut-baby.de.